Hi, I'm James the Light Guy, and today we're going to make a simple DIY UVC sterilizing box that you can make at home. First, eye protection. This is the set of glasses that I wear. I picked them up at my local Napa, and as you can possibly see there, they have 99.9% .9 UV protection. It may or may not actually be the most suitable for these applications, but it is far better than nothing. And so far, I have yet to uh, scorch my eyes since wearing them. So I'm going to start by putting these on. We'll get this out of the way. And now let's talk about what we need to get started. First, the most important thing is a UVC tube light. I've done a couple of videos involving this particular lamp. I'll put a link to the Amazon listing in the description below. Uh, you can get yourself these for uh, real cheap online and so long as they are the real glass quartz tubes often seen for aquarium and water filtration uh, they are pretty good. You can always check yours with uh, the simple banana test, which I have a video to, I will also link in the description. Next, we'll need a cardboard box. Some, uh, um, what do you call this? Aluminum foil tape, or you overseas types, aluminum foil tape. Pair of scissors and some skewers. All right, the first thing that we need to do is coat the inside of our box with the foil tape. Now, why are we using aluminum foil tape? Well, as you can see, once we get this opened up, the surface isn't a perfect mirror per se, but it is highly reflective. And rather than use the uh, mirrors or uh, other options that we could have at our disposal, the pure metal finish on these, or on this tape, uh, means that it's not going to accidentally block any of the UV light from bouncing around. Wow, this packaging is much more difficult to get off than I anticipated. There we go. You see, nice and shiny. This will reflect the UV light without absorbing any of it as any uh, plastic mirror or uh, potentially a glass mirror. The glass could reduce the amount of uh, light being reflected off of it. So what we're going to do, like I said, is coat the inner walls and ceiling as well as the inner face of this bottom side. Let me wrap it up and I'll be right back. As you can see by the reflection of my bright yellow shirt, we have most of the inside all taped up. I didn't do a very good job. You can try harder for yourself. Um, we're gonna do the last couple strips on this. We needed the top flap and bottom flap to also be covered, so we'll do those together. This was a $10 roll of foil tape that I got at my local hardware store. Let's use the, uh, it's gonna say the tweezers, there they are. Sometimes my hand just doesn't cooperate with me. There we go. So they have a uh, protective backing. Once removed, it shows off the adhesive. Just lay it in place and give it a firm press. 
All right, we'll do that with the last two strips. There we go. Our box is now foil lined. The next step is setting up the enclosure. We know that we want this face to be sealed and we want this, oop, bump the camera. And we want these flaps to retain it while not blocking us in. So what we'll do is we'll take a pencil We'll mark an approximate line. And we'll use the scissors to cut out those marks. There's one side. And the other side. Fantastic. All right, before we secure this bottom side closed, let's attach our lamp to the inside. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bulb from our lamp and put that aside. And for the sake of simplicity, we could use zip ties or something, but I'm just going to tape it in place with a couple of strips of this stuff. To increase the efficiency of this, you could put a second tube on the bottom of the box. On the inside of the bottom of the box, I should say. we go. Let's flip this around so you guys can see what I'm doing. So this is currently the top of the box because it's upside down. We're just going to line this up about center. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, about center. And use this tape. To hold in place. We can then take our glass tube and reinstall it. Fantastic. If we want, we can then secure this out of the way. I'm gonna do that again with just another piece of the foil tape. There we go. All right, the last step is sealing up, well, not the last step, the next step in the process is sealing up these flaps. And, well, we still have more tape. Not much, mind you, this was about 10 meters or 10 yards of tape 
and we've used almost all of it in a box this big. camera again. All right, there we go. We are about 95% done. You can see that when we close it, we have very little uh, gap, just that little hole right there. Everything else is sealed up tight. But we can't just put stuff in the box. That's where these skewers come in. What we're gonna do is we're just going to take the skewers and stab them into the box. Well, that didn't work. We're gonna grab a tool, poke a bunch of little holes, and then stab the skewers through the box. I'll be right back. And I'm back, I've now prepped a bunch of tiny holes across the front and back surface. We're going to feed through our skewers, if I'm lucky. All right, now that we've got all the skewers started, we can try and feed them through to the corresponding hole on the back wall. There we go, we'll just tap them in the rest of the way. I'll be right back. All of our skewers are now in, and I tapped them down to about an even length. And then another tool I didn't mention at the beginning, I just used snips to trim off the excess in the back. And we are essentially done, except there's no way to keep this closed at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make a small slit right here. Maybe a little bit higher up. That'll work. And we'll do the same on the other side over here. There we go. And then we can take two more skewers and just use them as locks. Perfect. So now we can test this out. What we're going to do is open this up. We'll put something inside. Let's just pretend we needed to sanitize this. We will seal our box. Actually, we won't seal it right now, just for the test. We will make sure that we are wearing our eye protection for the test, and we'll plug this in. It's plugged in, and there we go. The light is on. Our items inside, you can see the reflection of the light coming off the sides there. We would just take our skewers, and 
and set a timer for, let's say, a minute, and it should be sterilized. What's happening is the light source is bouncing off all of the reflective sides to try and get a good 360 in every direction. Again, you could make this more efficient by throwing another light on the bottom of the box uh, facing upward to help that even distribution. That's all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, uh, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this with your friends and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, I'm James the Light Guy.